What if simply drinking water could cure any illness? For many years, the people of Mineral Wells, Texas thought that this was the case. Now, what does this have to do with ghost hunting? As you can imagine, there were plenty of people that were not actually healed by the wells. And yet, the man that opened this business that started selling the water from these wells sold it for $9 a cup of today's money. $9 for a cup of water that would cure you, except it wasn't just one. You had to have multiple. And some people would even have to bathe in the water for it to work. Mineral Wells, Texas was nothing. It was no one before the wells. And the family that settled there and actually had the first well there, the only reason they stopped was because they believed that they got a sign from God that they should not continue further. So they said, okay, we'll just settle here. They started their homestead. A man came and said, let me drill you a well. Now, back in those days, they didn't have stuff to test the water. So so instead of testing the water, what they would do, they would give the water to their livestock. And if their livestock survived, then it would be safe to drink. So when the livestock didn't die, they decided, hey, we can drink this water. They started drinking the water and all of the family had like, different illnesses. Well, when they started drinking the water, their illnesses started to go away. So they thought, oh, this is magic water. Um, and that's how the legend of the crazy water started. So this whole town was built around the thought of this crazy water being a miracle cure. Like I said, the town started to bloom and people were coming from all over and just staying at this homestead. And businessmen were like, we should probably build hotels because we could make money off of this. One of the biggest hotels in this little town was the Baker Hotel. If you saw my last video, you know we stayed at Hill House, the haunted demon house. And it is across the street from none other than the Baker Hotel. The Baker Hotel is said to be extremely haunted and there are a few specific deaths that caused some of these horrific hauntings. One of those being a man named Douglas was working in the hotel. Specifically, he was controlling the elevator. Well, a group of teenagers came in and, you know, teenagers horseplay, whatnot, and they were jumping in and out of the elevator doors. Well, this is before safety measures really were a thing for elevators. There wasn't like, oh, automatically stop if there's like a hand in the door. You see where I'm going with this. That was Douglas's last day on the job. So it is said that if you go to the Baker Hotel, you can capture orbs if you take photos in front of the elevator. Supposedly, you can also call out his name and you'll feel a cold rush of air. But the most famous resident of the Baker Hotel is the mistress. It seems like all haunted hotels have this like mistress lady ghost that roams the hotel. This is the Baker's mistress. She supposedly has red hair and green eyes. The ghost was first spotted in the 1960s. She's known as the lady in white and she's believed to be the former manager's mistress, Virginia Brown. She flirts with men whom she finds attractive and she doesn't like women going in her suite on the seventh floor. She does not like women going in her suite. Her lavender perfume still roams the halls and even red lipstick has been randomly found like kisses on glass and glasses around the hotel. You can also hear her heels clicking as she walks along the floor. There are a lot more characters that are known to roam this hotel. So if you want to hear about the